Storing non-trivial data can sometimes be important, so in this video we're going to learn how we can use the Shared Preferences plugin to store the amount of times we have started the app. And a big thanks to Shannon Galloway that's being the official sponsor of this video. You can check out my Patreon down in the description. And before we begin, let's just check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can find over 27,000 different classes ranging from design, business and tech. If you use my link down in the description, you will find that you will get two months of free use, so be sure to check it out now. The link is in the description. So first off, we're going to add our shared preferences plugin. You can see the readme, but we're just going to go into the installation as I'm going to explain most of it. So we're going to use the scroll down a bit, go into the dependencies and then just copy the dependencies. So now if we navigate to our PubSpec YAML, we can go to below our Cupertino icons and just import the package. We're just going to use the shared preferences as the latest version is 0.5.2. Then we're just going to run packages get and we will have the latest package. And now I just created a home page and we're going to have a empty string called have started three times. And this is just going to be displayed in the scaffold. So we're just going to import some things in the scaffold. So the first thing we're going to have inside here is that we're going to have a body of a center and the center is just going to have the text of the have started three times. And then we're just going to set the textile to a font size of 32 so it's a bit easier to see. So the first method we're going to create is called get int from shared preferences. And this is just going to get the startup number from our storage and then we'll just return zero if it's null. So we'll start off by instantiating our preferences plugin and we'll do that by using the final prefs and then using the await keyword to shared preferences and then we're just going to call get instance. So we're going to store the value inside a variable called startup number. Then we're just going to call our preferences and get int. And this int requires a string. So this string is just going to be the key we're going to set. I'll just simply set this to startup number and you can change this to whatever you want. Just be sure that you're using that throughout the app. And now as that method should return null if it doesn't find anything, we will have a if to check that. So first off, we'll just pass in the startup number inside our if, and then we'll just simply check if that is equal to null. And then if it's equal to null, we'll just return zero. And then if it's not equal to null, we'll just return that startup number. So our next method will simply be a reset counter method. And this will simply do what it says. It will set the counter in the shared preferences to zero. So we'll simply start by instantiating our shared preferences. And then we'll simply call the preferences of set int. And if we check that method, it requires a key. And that key will be the startup number again. And then it requires a value. And we will simply set that value to zero. So now we need some way of setting the counter. And we'll simply do that with our init state. So now in our init state, we can simply call our new method we're going to create. And this method will simply be called increment startup. So this method will simply increment the startup number and store it. And then it will use set state to display that change in the UI. So we're going to just start by instantiating our preferences again. And now we can simply create a new variable called last startup number. And this variable will simply hold the value that comes from the last method we created, which is just the get int from shared pref. And you can simply hover the mouse to see what the method does. So below the last startup number, we're going to instantiate a new variable called current startup number. And this value will simply be the last startup number, but incremented with one. So before we do anything, we're simply going to update the variable inside the shared preferences. And we're going to use the key as before and then just set that to the current startup number. And just make sure that it's the current startup number and not the last startup number. And now we can simply add some conditional checking. So for the first if, we're just simply going to check the current startup number. And if it's equal to three, we're going to display that in the UI. So we'll start by just using set state and then get the string that we had before and the string which is have started three times. And then we're just simply going to assign that to a new string which is the startup number times completed. So now a optional thing we're going to do is just reset the counter. So if we have gotten to three again, we're just going to reset the counter so we can start over. 
And we can simply do that with just awaiting our reset counter. And now for the else statement, which is very easy, we're just going to use set state again and then assign the have started three times to a new string. And now we should have our work implementation of shared preferences. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. And also thank you Shannon Galway and Jeff Delaney for supporting me on Patreon. If you would like to check out that, it's down in the description. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.